talking about off man, man. So what off man, we'll start with the stance and the alignment. Um, so stance, stagger stance. I don't try to intervene too much on this, uh, but what, what they have to have is that outside foot up. Obviously, they would need to have a good bend. If these guys are not very efficient in their stance, that's when I'll intervene. Hey, you need to do this or do that. But for the most part, these guys are college athletes. They know how to get a good bend. How we align, we align uh, seven to nine yards deep. And we've kind of gravitated to that nine yards just so we can max out our depth um, and be super aggressive on quick game. One to three yards inside the receiver. And that's just going to be based off of the split of the receiver or the divider. The wider he is, basically, the further we're going to be inside. Key, we give him two keys. Um, different cats get better reads from, from the quarterback or the wide receiver midsection. But we just use this to get whichever one they can get a, a better quick game read. That's which one we tell them to do. Footwork, and this is kind of how what I was talking about earlier, is the part, part, part hole. So as you can see, the step slide, that's the first part. The next part will be the match hips then transition shuffle. We won't talk about the jam and finish because they would already know this because of all the other, that's that's a separate a separate entity That because that's going to be in all our finish, all our man techniques and all our all our, all our ball and air techniques. And then post-snap tools, uh, whether this is releases, quick game read, uh, doing the arm over, uh, any type of identification that you can get. Uh, and we'll drill these and talk about these all the time. Every snap, you can get one of them. So just talking about step slide, why do we use a step slide? It's just to get a quick game break. We don't want to get out of there and be 10 yards. We're already at nine, and then we get out of there and we're now we're 15 yards deep and they run this thing. But it just allows us to be super aggressive. Now, we read quick game. We're going to drive this thing out super fast. What the technique is, how we do this, is we're just going to take a small step with that back foot, right? Um, so that could be a, a inside and back, or it could be straight back, depending on your alignment and then slide that front foot. So we should be taking that step, that small step back and then sliding that back foot or that front foot. And when I tell those guys, I say scrape the dog off the cleat. That kind of just shows them exactly what I'm talking about. So imagine you had some gum or some dog poop on the on the bottom of your cleat and you're just scraping that off the off, off the cleat with the turf. How we should finish this part of the drill or a part of the technique is we should be driving out the quick game or we should be transitioning to our next phase or our next part, which is the match up part. So how this will be set up, we'll just set it up like this. You can see uh, it's here. So I'll be here. The quarterback eyes will be here on me. Um, so what these guys will be doing, these are the rabbits, which are the receivers. So as you can see, these guys have a good, nice stance. We'll go slow. So you can see these guys, they're going to step with that back foot, right? Then they're going to slide that front foot. That's that simple. They're going to do it one more time. Step, slide. So now they see his quick game. They're looking at me. They're going to snap their eyes back to the receiver and then drive out the quick game. We'll go through it one more time. Kind of go a little faster so you guys can see it. Nice. One more time. Step, slide, step, slide, drive out the quick game. It's literally that simple, right? Only thing we're trying to do is just get our feet activated, make sure our eyes are right, and get ready to drive a quick game. So how this was looking, just give you guys a visual of it. So we watch this cat here at the bottom of the screen, here at the 30. So here he is. He's got his eyes on the quarterback. Step, slide. He's going to drive it. This is a clinic quality rep right here. And once you can see me right here, like I said, we praise progress. This cat had a hard time with this footwork at the beginning of the camp, but he really got it going. So watch it one more time. Nice job. And that's just the drill. We can, here's the same cat. Now he's just got a different key. Instead of watching the quarterback, he's just going to watch the receiver. So same, same technique. The only thing is different is he's going to be looking at, he will be looking at the receiver. Nice job. So the next part we just talked about is going to be the matchups part. So why do we use this drill? Um, we use this drill just because it allows us to be super aggressive on intermediate games. Um, and it also allows us to get in a position to match the fit, to match the fade. So if this guy's getting ready to run, I don't need to be having that that, that uh, outside foot up, right? I need to have that outside foot back. And then it allows us to be able to make a connection. How we do this, we're literally just going to take that outside foot and we're going to drop step it at a 
135 degree angle. And then how we should finish this is going to be driving intermediate. So what that means is if he's coming, he's running intermediate and he's running inside route, I'm going to connect with him. If he's an out route, then I'm going to drive it. If we don't have this, we should get into that training. So let's we'll see this kind of go. So here we are. You can see this, the initial footwork is the same. So it's the same drill. Now this right here is the matchup spark. So we watch this cat here at the 30. All right. So he's just going to drop this outside foot and get to a 135 degree angle. So what this looks like, he'll just drop step, and this is the matchup phase. It's really small and minute, but it's important. That's the only part of the drill. Uh, that's the only part of this technique. It's literally drop step in that back foot. So watch it one more time. Right here, he is drop stepping, right? So what this allows us to do, if this is an intermediate route, it allows us to break all different types of ways. He can break this way, he can break that way. If it is vertical, he can widen this release. And that kind of is why we don't open the gate to get the one A. And if that guy was to come and have an inside breaking route, we would just be super firm and connect with him at the top. Same thing going the other way. Boom, drop step, match steps. And that's literally, that's the thing. 